Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nope. And today I'm going to show you how to have a quicker startup time for your Windows computer and how to get a better performance as far as your processing and memory performance out of your computer. Now, as far as things go, this is going to be using default things that comes with Windows so you don't have to download anything. And I know for a fact that these things are on Windows XP. Vista 7, 8, 8.1, and I believe it even goes all the way back to 95, maybe even before that, but for the most part, I don't have an operating system back that far, so I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's from XP to 8.1. Now, I want to get into a couple of disclaimers before we jump on into this, because this is going to be a very quick tutorial. First off, since we're changing some default settings, I advise you to watch the video, get comfortable, then do it. But uh, if anything does go wrong, then it's on your head, so keep that in mind. But uh, ask questions if they uh, do come up. Now, as far as how useful this is, this is mostly for making your startup time quicker. This is not going to influence the time between when you press that power button and when you get to the login. But when you get to the login, either when the computer automatically logs you in or when you log in itself, from there to when you can actually start using your computer, it's going to shorten up that time by a dramatic amount. And the reason for it is it's basically going to cut out what is starting up in the background. Now, as far as if you're, say for example, a gamer and you're trying to run a super game of some type, and your computer can't handle it, it's not going to help you in that way. But this will help you if you have an older computer or some computer that has a poor startup time. It's, it's not going to disable things completely where you never be able to use it. So keep that in mind, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. So what you need to do if you're on Windows 7 and before, go to Start and Search Services. If you're on like a Windows XP or whatnot, go to Run and do services and it's right there if you're on Windows 8 just search it and it will come up now as far as this goes what you have here is uh, let's use one password as an example for this you have the name of the service and this shows all the services on your computer or more just about all of them and you got the name of the service description and depend on if they change this over time you'll have actually a description over here also. You'll have the status and running, not running. So, I mean, that's it says running or nothing, which is kind of obvious what it means. Now, the more important part is automatic as far as startup type. What does that mean? You have three types of startups, and I'm going to explain two of them. Automatic and manual. Automatic is when you go on your computer and log in to your user account or the thing automatically logs you in when it says automatic these are the things that will automatically open up in the background or in the foreground depending on how things are and they will be running they they basically slow down your computer sometimes these are good things sometimes these are really bad things or sometimes it doesn't matter one way or another how how would this be a good thing? It, let's go to a fast firewall. It, it's a good thing if you look at something like this where you have a firewall that automatically comes up. While it does slow down your computer just a little bit, it protects your computer because your computer doesn't care if the firewall is up or not when it connects to the internet, depending on your settings. So what happens is you need to get the firewall up as quickly as possible. and um, and that helps you out by having it automatic but if it's manual basically you gotta click it on so say for example if you're I don't know solitary uh, some, some game or something like a browser it doesn't matter what if you're not um, basically if you're if you didn't start it up it then it won't be on say for example this uh, ActiveX uh, and and so on so how do you change things and what do you need to look for obviously you need to have the firewalls antiviruses and so on as automatic but let's look at something like say fax this is basically um 
it allows you to send and receive faxes from your computer and um, not many people use it if anyone at all so what you need to do is right click it and go to properties and then select manual you have a choice from automatic manual and disable I wouldn't ever suggest really hitting disable manual is really your best bet and um, for, for this particular thing now as far as things that you really should put as manual uh, Bing bar I think that was automatic uh, anything like a internet toolbar should really be a uh, manual updating stuff uh, depending on what it is but if, if it's like Google update service or something like that I suggest having that as a manual thing unless if it's like a update service for your calendar um, some of the other things um, games uh, steam some other stuff I should just been as ma manual but um, obviously for Windows updating um, some other stuff protection stuff had that as automatic um, one of the things I was trying to find is Prey, which is on here somewhere. What Prey is, in case you don't know, it's a, um, just getting off topic a little bit, it's a application that you can put on your computer. If someone steals your computer, you can actually find the actual computer itself, get the person, a, if, if you got a webcam hooked up to your computer, a picture of the person who stole it, and you can send that to the cop, get your computer back, and there you go. Um, things like that, I'll, I'll just put in as automatic. But as far as that goes, this is pretty much it as, as far as this tutorial. If you run into any problems, feel free to ask me anything below. Um, if, if you got any crucial thing that you think people are going to set as manual, that shouldn't be set as manual, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below, and that way you can help people out. Uh, also, if you got any other tips for something like this, then also leave that in the comment section below. But um, if this video has helped you, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And again, if you got any, any questions or whatnot, you can go to the comment section below or go to techfusionup.com, go to contact us, and my email is under there. So anyways, I hope you have a great day.